Many people start their day with different things on their mind, like what to wear, check their social media, work, and how much money they can make. Not putting God first and suddenly, in a moment, they will die, and the people will be troubled at midnight and pass away, and the mighty will be taken away without a hand. This is why you need the Midnight Prayer. Hello friends, a special good morning to all of you. Today is Monday and it's now zero hours and two minutes. We are beginning the day in the presence of God. Call your family, call your family members, your loved ones to pray together with us in this first prayer of the day. I have a Bible verse to share with you in this morning that the Lord Jesus spoke to Martha. He says... Did I not tell you that if you believe, you would see the glory of God? So, friend, he told her, look, Martha, didn't I tell you if you believe, you would see the glory of God? And the same thing, friend, the Lord Jesus is telling you, you have financial problems, you have struggles, you don't know how you are going to work tomorrow morning. You got your salary Friday, and today you don't have a cent, you don't have a penny. You have received uh, a bad news over this weekend. You have been in a bad shape financially. But the living God, He wants to restore your financial life. Today, Monday, we are going to be teaching you important things, important steps, what you have to do in order for your whole life, financially wise, to be transformed. Those of you that your business has been inside out. You don't know what to do because you have no customers. You open your business every day. You go to work every day. You have two jobs, two sources of income, but yet your money is never enough. You are going through a lot of uh, uh, tight moments, a lot of struggles moments in your house, in your finances. Friends, the living God wants and He will help you. There will be a change. Today, 6 in the morning, 10 in the morning, midday, 3 p.m., 5 p.m. especially, and also half six. And in every branches of the Universal Church countrywide, we are going to be helping you to take steps of faith in order for you to see transformation happening in your financial life. Talking about taking a step of faith, my friend, step now upon the Word of God. Grab your Bible. Hold your Bible now. Let us talk to God because everything that he promises here will come to pass in your life. Let us talk to God now. Father, today is Monday. And every Monday, Lord, we teach your people how to become prosperous. We teach your people, Father, how to be blessed. Every Monday, God, we have been spending time to tell them that all things are possible to those who believe. We have been telling people that their financial lives, God, can reverse. To those that they lack vision, we have been making our greatest effort to open their eyes. This person that has a very great potential to become a businessman, to become a businesswoman, but yet this person is still working for somebody. But yet this person is still working for someone. God, please, I pray and I ask you, help your people. Help this person, Father, to come out of this situation. Help this person to overcome these financial difficulties. I pray on behalf of those that cannot provide to their house. Those that, my Lord, they have been unable to provide to their children. Father, please help them to reverse these financial problems into financial breakthrough. He is standing upon your words and with your words in hands we pray and we ask you Lord for you to prosper your people and for you to bless them God bless the first morning service at 6 bless 10 o'clock 
midday, 3 p.m., 5 p.m., half six. All the services that will be conducted today, Monday, in every universal church countrywide. And in the name of Jesus, when your people come with their financial difficulties, God, they will live with a financial breakthrough. Today, my friend, is your day. And today is the day for you to succeed. Today is the day for you to become great. Because the living God will prosper you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. And if you believe, say, Amen. Amen. So, my friend, we are going now. But 5.30 in the morning... Pastor Marco is going to be back with all of you with the worker's prayer. He's going to pray together with you at 5.30 and he's going to bless you before you go back to work today, Monday. And in every universal church countrywide, myself and my team of pastors, we are going to be ready to bless you. We are going to be ready to help you to see all the promises of God upon this word to become true in your life. For now, have yourself a very blessed night of sleep. See you. I didn't get along with anybody. Like it was like fights, disagreements. Uh, there was betrayals on both sides. My name is Francisco Nunes. I'm 35 years old. Uh, I'm a video editor. Before I came to the Universal Church, I suffered in my in the love life. I didn't get along with anybody. My relationships uh, used to be really short. And um, like it was like fights, disagreements. Uh, there was betrayals on both sides. Uh, my ex-girlfriend and I also cheated on her. So it was a lot of frustration in my life. So I was really down and um, until like one day like somebody like uh, showed me uh, a way out to this uh, situation I, uh, the universal church it was a, a friend of mine invited me to the to the universal church to one of the events so i came at first i came because you know, it was like a friend of mine so i just wanted to you know just please him a little bit after that uh, the campaign of israel came so god spoke to me and uh, I decided to sell everything that I had um, to change my life completely. So I even sold like my light bulbs, the movies that I liked. Um, I sold everything. Um, I didn't even put gas in my car. So in the day that I came to, to bring my, my sacrifice, I came walking. So I walked like half an hour, 45 minutes. Uh, to the church, um, it was snowing. It was a there was a bad snow storm that day, but I was I was, I, was, I, was, I was just I was just I just determined. I was just determined. I need, I need to bring my sacrifice. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how. I'm going to do what God's telling me. Um, so I, I brought it. So with my sacrifice, my sacrifice was also a GPS, was not, which I wasn't didn't make it in time to sell it. So I put it in the altar, I put my sacrifice with the GPS. The sacrifice, don't exactly know the, because it's been some time ago, uh, the amount was like probably like 14, 1500 dollars altogether. So in that campaign, I did what God asked me. I didn't even ask God for anything. What I was, uh, what I really cared about was to do God's will. Um, God asked me and, and I obeyed and while I was doing the sacrifice I met which today is my wife three months later after the campaign we got married and, and I thank God now we've been married for 12 years we have two beautiful healthy children I am faithful to her she's faithful to me we are happy, we get along, we talk, we have dialogue, we are best friends. It's not like, it's not a movie, it's real. So, and that all, all that happened because I did what God asked me. And I am really grateful, I'm truly grateful. And on top of that, 
I received the, 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 the Holy Spirit. My wife received the Holy Spirit. We serve, we serve God in the altar and we are happy.